Hi there, my name's Simon Drew and welcome to the Practical Stoic Bites podcast. Now, today I just wanted to give you the Stoic's interpretation of what philosophy is. Because I know that when I first started learning about philosophy, I kind of had these preconceived ideas of what philosophy was. And in my head, it was kind of like a, a very, very kind of elitist uh, thing to study. You know, it was, it seems to me like it was something that you would go to university and there'll be a professor and, um, you know, they would be focusing more on the theory than on the practice, right? Uh, but really the Stoics saw it in a very different way. And they really called a lot of philosophers out for not focusing on the practical element of philosophy. And when I read this quote from Epictetus, the way that he defines philosophy, I really learned that the way that the Stoics saw this was absolutely gorgeous. And so I want to share this with you because it can really allow you to see how the study of philosophy is very much a practical pursuit. It's a pursuit of learning how to live a good life and how to be a good human being. And so I want to read this to you now because it's such a powerful passage. And he said the following, Epictetus said the following, quote, true philosophy doesn't involve exotic rituals, mysterious liturgy, or quaint beliefs. Nor is it just abstract theorizing and analysis. It is, of course, the love of wisdom. And I'll stop there because that's a very poor, important distinction. You know, the true definition of philosophy is loving wisdom. You know, a love for wisdom. And that's such a beautiful thing to note from the start. You know, and the Stoics saw wisdom as a true knowledge of human and divine matters, right? And also uh, the study of excellence in what you're pursuing. And so really like this love of wisdom, you know, it's a love of learning how to be a good human being, how to be an effective human being and how to live a good life. And so it goes on to say, it is the art of living a good life, as I just said. As such, it must be rescued from religious gurus and from professional philosophers, lest it be exploited as an esoteric cult or as a set of detached intellectual techniques or brain teasers to show how clever you are. Philosophy is intended for everyone, and it is authentically practiced only by those who wed it with action in the world toward a better life for all. And that's a really important distinction as well. Philosophy is only truly practiced by those who wed it with action in the world, right? For a better life for themselves and for everybody else, right? So there's kind of a community aspect to the stoic version of what philosophy is. And that comes back to their cosmopolitan uh, worldview, right? The, the idea that really we are all the same species, human, human beings. And so we really need to take care of everybody as much as we possibly can. Uh, but we need to study philosophy so that we can know how to do that. So anyway, he goes on to say, Philosophy's purpose is to illuminate the ways our soul has been infected by unsound beliefs, untrained tumultuous desires, and dubious life choices and preferences that are unworthy of us. Self-scrutiny applied with kindness is the main antidote. And I want to stop there as well. That is one of the most beautiful, uh, perfect lines that I've ever heard from Epictetus. This idea that the true path of the philosopher is self-scrutiny mixed with kindness, right? Because in life, listen, you need to be, uh, you need to be critical of yourself. You need to look at yourself and say, am I acting in the best way possible? Am I trying to be virtuous? But in those times when you feel as though you're not living up to your own expectations, uh, when you feel as though you're just not hitting the bar, those are the times where you need to apply a little bit of self kindness as well, so that you don't see this whole pursuit as something that's negative for you. Like, it's such a beautiful thing to get rid of your faults and to pursue virtues. And there has to be kindness there so that you allow yourself the time necessary to make these changes. Anyway, he goes on. Besides rooting out the soul's corruptions, the life of wisdom is also meant to stir us from our lassitude and move us in the direction of an energetic, cheerful life. And what a beautiful way to end that passage, that philosophy's purpose is to move us in the direction of an energetic, cheerful life. 
You know, there is a theme running through Stoicism that says that you really need to be able to laugh at life. You need to be able to have fun from time to time. You need to enjoy life because seriously, we, we don't get through this alive. All of us die, right? And so there has to be pockets of joy throughout your life. And philosophy can help you to live an effective life, a life of virtue, and a life that is full of energy and cheerfulness and joy. You know, and so that's what's so beautiful about the Stoics interpretation of philosophy. Philosophy is a study that can help us to learn the art of living a good life. And so I want you to think about that as we go through these quotes from the Stoics, as we learn more about this incredible philosophy. And I need you to really consider that that's what we're aiming at here. We're aiming at learning how to live a good life and how to be a virtuous human being, which is the ultimate good. It's such a beautiful thing to aim at. And on that note, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And if you have found it helpful, then make sure you subscribe to the podcast or subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure you leave us a review as well. That would be extremely helpful. And, uh, and on that note, I'll talk to you next time. But until then, I hope that this episode has helped you on your rise to the good life. Ciao. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Practical Stoic Bites podcast. If you've enjoyed the show, then please subscribe and make sure you leave a positive review. Also, I'd love to invite you to join our Facebook group. It's called the Practical Stoic Mastermind. There you can get heaps of helpful tips and you can keep up to date with everything that's happening with the show. Finally, if you'd like some help redefining or moving closer to your ideal life, then head to simonjedrew.com forward slash coaching.